welcome back to another crafty decor party. In today's video, I'm over the moon excited to share with you a Christmas decorating video. So we're going to be decorating my living room for Christmas, and I'm going to share with you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I put together this Christmas tree. It was only $10 at the thrift store. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. So this is episode 20 in my huge I Love Christmas series. You guys, we're having the hugest jamming out Christmas party on my channel. I've done over a hundred Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs for the 2019 season. So definitely check out that huge I Love Christmas playlist down below. I'll link it for you guys. But without further ado, go ahead and grab your ribbons, some ornaments, creativity, and let's get to decorating. So to get started on this decorating adventure, I'm going to grab a cup of hot cocoa and I'm going to light my favorite candle. It is the Cinnamon Carmen Swirl by Bath & Body Works and then Mr. Romantic helped me put this Christmas tree up. It was seven and a half foot and we found it at the thrift store for only $10. Now mind you, we did have to cut all the lights off of it and put new lights on. Here are my kiddos and they truly helped me out so much with this tree. My daughter helped put on the lights and then to start out decorating this tree, I'm going to use six rolls of the Dollar Tree Deco Mesh. So I'm just starting at the top and I'm twist tying it with the branches. So what you do is just take the branches and cross them over and then you kind of swirl your deco mesh down. So I'm pulling it out in kind of little fluffy about every 12 inches I'm pulling it out and then tucking it into the tree and crisscrossing it around. I like using the deco mesh because it's going to give my tree a lot fuller of an effect. So I really like to go over the top with my Christmas decorations and I want my tree to look really full and and fluffy so I'm just going to continue to use the rolls of deco mesh I just use the entire roll I don't even cut it and it's the Dollar Tree deco mesh if that helps you guys at all So here is what the Christmas tree looks like with the deco mesh just kind of swirled in place here and there. And now I'm going to share with you guys, I'm taking burlap ribbon and then two different buffalo check plaid ribbons. I got the burlap ribbon at burlapfabric.com. I'll leave a coupon code below for $5 off. The code is Olivia Fall if you guys want to take advantage of that. But you're just going to take your ribbon and you're going to start at the top of your tree. And then about every 12 to 16 inches, you're going to pull it out and then again crisscross it over and just kind of layer it and so I went from the top of the tree and I layered it in about four to five really large loops down the tree and to the side and then I'm starting at the top and I'm going the opposite direction so they're actually even going to crisscross. I really felt like it made this tree just really pop with a crisscross ribbon pattern and I love how the layered ribbon looks. I love the buffalo check plaid and honestly I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the red and black or the white and black so I just went for both of them. I hope you guys are loving this. Definitely comment and let me know what you think about this. So the size of the burlap ribbon that's under it is actually six inches wide and my ribbon strips are cut in about seven and a half to eight foot cuts. So hopefully that's a reference point for you guys. But if you guys have a smaller tree, of course you'd cut your ribbon shorter. I hope that helps. Comment and let me know if you guys have questions. But I continue to add just more ribbon until I used one roll of the black and red check buffalo plaid ribbon and then one roll of the white and black. And I got each one of them, one of them at Hobby Lobby. And so it was 75 foot total for each roll. So now I'm just going to use some of those Dollar Tree florals. I love making a huge floral tree topper. I'm just taking a pipe cleaner and I'm pipe cleanering these florals on. So I used a variety of some of those repurposed ones that I shared with you guys a DIY on um, in the last video. I spray painted them and then just some red berries and some lamb's ear. And here it is with the tree topper added. Oh, I'm just loving this. Okay, so we need to add some ornaments. Now I've been sharing with you guys a ton of Dolly Tree DIY ornaments and believe it or not, these are beach balls and pumpkins repurposed. You guys definitely need to go check out that DIY video if you need some great little ideas on how to make some homemade ornaments for super cheap. Here is another DIY pumpkin sign repurposed that we just add a little red truck to and some bows. So 
This is why I get started making my crafts really early because I actually use all my crafts to decorate with um, and I do give them as gifts as well. But I'm continuing to add more ornaments and these are just ornaments that I have collected at the thrift store. So I'll pop into the thrift store, grab um, a thing of ornaments and I do that over the year and that way by the end when it comes time for Christmas I'll have a bunch. And so I'm just using this little $1 tablecloth that I found at a garage sale and I'm beginning to add some more of my fun little DIYs to the base. That is a Pier 1 Imports package dupe that I shared with you guys. And then there's a little thrift store Santa that I found and another little package that I made. Now those two little packages aren't real, but that center one is. So I am also love to add Dollar Tree signs underneath my tree. So you guys can see that little Dollar Tree little red truck sign next to that little burlap bag and then another little sign. I like to do this just to fill the tree out now because I haven't quite done a lot of my Christmas shopping yet but it is coming soon I'll share with you guys how to wrap some packages and also some budget friendly gift ideas as well so here it is with all of the beautiful ornaments on it I used Dollar Tree ornaments thrift store ornaments and handmade repurposed ornaments and there's those little snow people I also shared with you guys how to make so I hope you guys are loving this Christmas tree so far and I hope it's also giving you guys some ideas for those of you that have been following along with a lot of my Dollar Tree DIYs how to use them in your Christmas decor um, I have had so much fun crafting with you guys and guess what we have so many more crafts to come I think so far this season we've done oh, over a hundred dollar tree DIYs so I love to get started early because it is so fun to craft and make beautiful treasures just to make your home gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget So for the next DIY, I'm going to share with you guys how I'm going to put this garland up above my little TV cabinet. So this is a really puny garland. I got it in a box at the thrift store and it is very, very thin. It definitely needs some love. So I'm just going to attach it to the top of my little cabinet. I just popped some nails in there. Um, command step strips would probably work better but that's what I have so I'm taking some old Christmas tree branches and I've been dying to share this DIY with you guys you just take old Christmas tree branches from an old Christmas tree I actually found a box that was free at the thrift store and it was just this old Christmas tree it has a lot of fallout but it works great you just take it and you twist tie it into the garland so you just use the branches to twist tie them over on each other and then you have this wonderful to me it's it's kind of full and fun garland. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of that burlap fabric. Again, you can get 100 yards of burlap at burlapfabric.com. I love it. Thank you to them. They did send me a lot of burlap this year. You guys have been seeing it in my decor, but it's super hot and it looks really great mixed in with that buffalo check plaid. So I'm just working the burlap in and around up this garland just by twisting it on. No hot glue, no wiring necessary. Those big branches work perfectly. You just cross them over and voila and then I did decide that I needed to be a little bit longer so I used two more branches on each side now I've never decorated this cabinet before but it's always open to be completely honest with you um, so I thought why not let's just go bigger go home right guys so now I'm just going to twist tie some little ribbons on there and again this ribbon I also did get at burlapfabric.com and it is gorgeous <laughs> So I added loads of ribbon to this and then just popped a cute little bone at the top. If I can find more ornaments at the thrift store, I may add some more ornaments. And here it is. I love listening to Christmas music with that little fireplace crackle in the background. You can find that on YouTube. It's about an eight hour loop. So for the next DIY on the fly, I'm going to take this thrift store poinsettia um, floral that needs a little bit of zhuzhing up. And I'm just going to add some of my extra ornaments that I had left over from decorating the tree these are kind of some pretty specialty ornaments so I've been saving them back and I did pop a little bow into the side of that and I added that to the top of the cabinet and back behind the cabinet is some of the goodies for the TV hardware so I was excited to hide that now for the next DIY I'm just going to take some of that 
garland that we painted in my last DIY video, and I'm going to add it into this beautiful flocked Walmart garland. I got it at Walmart last year. Actually, my Santa Pops got it for me, but I just wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit. And then now I'm adding these little thrift store candlesticks and then these thrift store little candles. They were originally from Pier One if you guys are looking for those. And then Dolly Tree is carrying these amazing charger plates. They say comfort and joy, and I thought they were so beautiful and just I love that comfort and joy. Don't we all need that during the holidays? And then I'm taking some of these little candy stripe ornaments. Again, I found them at the thrift store. You guys, I'm a super <laughs> thrifter. And honestly, by the time the holidays rolls around, as long as I haven't lost my mind trying to store everything, it really does kind of pay off. So here is just an overview of what we have done so far. I am just loving it. I feel like this Christmas for me is home for the holidays. My son is graduating from high school, and so I really do feel that home for the holiday feel. So anyway, for the next DIY, I'm just going to take one of those Dollar Tree giant bows. I'm going to add it to this burlap stocking. Again, I got this from burlapfabric.com. Thank you again to them, but such a super easy DIY just to take any stocking, add a giant bow to it, and you're good to go. This, ser this series on this video is going to be called the DIY on the fly because, wow, I've been doing a lot of decorating, so I need these easy ones. So I'm taking a little basket over here, and I'm adding the topper of that Christmas tree that was all pulled apart to that little basket, and that's going to hide some cords. Another great DIY is to fill your stockings full of some plastic to kind of fluff them out. I'm just going to add a really quick little bow. I tied it like you would tie a shoelace, and then I'm adding a little Dollar Tree bow hair clip to the center of it to give it a little razzle dazzle sparkle and shine. And I've taken this very plain stocking and really given it some pizzazz. I didn't want it to draw away from the bigness of the Christmas tree and some of the decor so I wanted my stockings to just be kind of quiet but simple and elegant and kind of blend in. Comment and let me know what you guys think. Do I need to add more? <laughs> you guys know I love to go over the top for sure. And then here is that little Dollar Tree deer that we did. You guys definitely go check that out if you need some more DIY inspiration. So another great little DIY is to take some of those Dollar Tree Christmas cards. And then I found this really nice mirror from Dollar Tree. I'm going to pop the mirror back in behind the Christmas card because I'm going to want to reuse that for probably another DIY. But for Christmas, I thought this was perfect. I wanted to add it to my mantle. It says home for the holidays. It has a cute little car with little Christmas tree on top. They're really great little Christmas cards that I found at Dollar Tree. I was so excited. I had a hunt for them, but they come in a little pack for you. Now it's time to add some pillows to my sofa. So I thrifted the red pillows and then I have these cute little buffalo check plaid pillows. I think I found them at Tuesday morning. And then this thankful pillow that's left over from fall time. I just thought it looked perfect. And then you guys, I am such a blanket junkie. I love to keep tons of blankets and pillows in my living room. The kids throw them on the floor and we all lounge out and watch Christmas movies. And it's the best time ever. So now I'm using another one of those Dollar Tree DIYs. It's just two scarves that I hot glued together and then we DIY this little planter box using those Dollar Tree bows and Dollar Tree Christmas trees. Definitely go check out that video. I'm going to link the huge I Love Christmas playlist in the description box for you. And then here's some fake sweet treats with just some little cupcakes and then that little Dollar Tree nutcracker that we razzle dazzled. And here it is all together in my entryway table. You guys, I'm just crushing on this. I feel like this is kind of Mackenzie Childs as just whimsical fun and again home for the holidays for sure. Now I'm going to add a quick little tray over on my side table with some real candy canes popped into this vintage Santa little creamer jar, a couple of Dollar Tree goodies, and then of course the cinnamon caramel swirl. I picked it up on sale at Bath & Body Works. I believe it was $5 over the weekend. It makes your house smell so delicious. My son commented that he was just going to be hunting for food just by the smell of that candle. And then here it is kind of all together. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, this is just making my heart so happy, you guys. I think it's the most wonderful time of the year. So another fun DIY is to take any leftover ornaments that you're going to be using or that you're not using and just pop them into whatever available bowl there is. So here is an overview of my Christmas tree, moving on to my mantle, and then decorating that little cabinet up above. Oh my goodness. Really, I've never done that before, but you guys have always suggested for me to decorate that cabinet. And I think it's so fun because to be honest with you guys, this is real life. We keep these little TV doors open. So why not go ahead and decorate it and have a little bit of fun? So again, there is that Christmas tree. Comment and let me know what you guys think about me mixing the red and black with the white and black buffalo check plaid. I am over the moon in love with it. I think it pulls in the white that's already in my house with all the accent pieces and it just ties it all in together and it just gives you that rustic, chic, kind of country, um, glam, little farmhouse feeling. I guess, I don't know. Um, just a big combination of styles, but more whimsical and fun and pretty much just everything that I love. And so many of what you guys see in my home decor is thrifted or Dollar Tree DIYs, truly. So definitely, you guys, keep getting out those glue guns and keep crafting and decorating away. I just, it makes me so happy to craft and decorate. And I want to thank you guys for being here. If you're watching this video, I hope it blesses your heart and it just makes you smile and um, just so much to be grateful for this season. Um, not that everything is perfect, but trying to just be thankful for every moment um, because they're fleeting for sure. I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be taking you along with me as I decorate my kitchen and my dining room. We have a ton more Dollar Tree DIYs. We're going to decorate outside my house, my bedroom, possibly my bathroom. And so I just have so many more fun ideas to share with you guys. I also want to share with you guys my favorite lotion right now is the Mrs. Myers hand lotion. It's peppermint and they also make a peppermint cleaner and dish soap. It's one of my favorite little splurges that I have. Um, I also have a five piece free gift set for you guys. If you're interested, pop on that link below. To share a quick recap of some of the videos in my huge I Love Christmas series, we put up my Christmas tree in episode one. In episode two, I shared with you guys an amazing Dollar Tree haul, as well as transform some Dollar Tree Halloween and fall items into Christmas items, another haul. And then I shared with you guys how to transform everyday objects into beautiful ornaments. I did a lovely little candy cane DIY series, as well as took six different candy cane theme wreaths and shared with you guys also this cute little elf transformation a wonderful Dollar Tree centerpiece and then I've also shared with you guys several different glam and pink Christmas ideas here was the rustic kind of farmhouse I shared with you guys here was the Dollar Tree garland that I shared with you guys as well as how to decorate this beautiful Christmas tree using Dollar Tree ornaments I combined everything for you as well as some other wonderful DIYs I've shared along the way. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous DIY decorating adventure. It is such a true blessing and an honor to have you all here. I feel like crafting and decorating is so good for your heart and soul. So keep up the good work. Keep plugging in your glue guns and getting out your glitter and paint and popping by your thrift stores or your Dollar Tree or wherever you love to pick up some fun and little happy decor. Definitely keep up the good work. So again, this is episode 20 in my huge I Love Christmas series. You guys definitely check out that huge I Love Christmas playlist.
playlist. I'm gonna link it in the description box below for you. It's gonna take you through so many budget-friendly Dollar Tree DIYs. I think we've done over 100 so far for the 2019 season, and we did over 100 last year. So whatever styles you love or whatever home decor you love, I probably made something to suit one of those styles out there. So definitely check it out. Again, if you guys are new, I would love to have you subscribe, be part of our little crazy crafty community. I love you to the moon and back. Remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to one another. And I have so many decorating videos coming up for you. We're gonna decorate my kitchen, my dining room, outside, my entryway, my bike, my mailbox. Oh my goodness, so many ideas. So I love you guys to the moon and back. I'm giving you all a big squishy hug. Until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Come out here to say